We're back now with our tiny house. We're getting it all set up and ready for a big adventure on the road. But before we do that, I wanted to take this chance to do a real deep dive into the amazing EcoFlow power kit that's powering this home. Before I dive into the details of the power kit, I want to talk a little bit about what's been going on because we've had a really unusual month here. We've been hit in New Zealand by several really large storms, two cyclones, we've had massive flooding in Auckland, tremendous amounts of damage has been done all across the North Island of New Zealand. People have lost their lives, there has been unprecedented flooding and obviously this is a time to sort of reflect on something that is really personally important to me, which is resilience. In my tiny house designs, I've always strived to make the tiny homes as resilient as possible. And part of that is taking the systems off the grid. It's being able to make sure that no matter what, you've got power, you've got water, you've got the basic essentials. Because when you're relying on mainstream infrastructure to provide those things to you, nothing's guaranteed. During Cyclone Gabrielle, I actually got stuck in the Coromandel. I was away from our tiny house. The roads in and out were all blocked with massive landslips, meaning no one could get in or out, meant supplies couldn't get in and people couldn't leave. I was there for one week with no power, no running water, no cellular service. And it really reminded me of the importance of building redundancy into your life because when those things are stripped from you, life does become really, really difficult. And it's very easy for us to forget how reliant we are on that mainstream infrastructure. And when it's gone, it's gone. So for me, going off the grid has never had more value than it does right now. And I've never been more thankful for the kinds of kit that I've got in this tiny house as I am right now. So if you're thinking of taking your tiny house your mobile home, your cabin, whatever it is off the grid, then this is a really good video for you to watch because the EcoFlow Power Kit, in my opinion, is a game changer to this industry. All right, now let's talk about the EcoFlow Power Kit. One of the things that makes it so different from all of the rest is that it's a complete system. It contains the solar panels, the power kit, the batteries, everything is designed to work together, to talk together, and to be as simple as possible. When I say simple, it's basically plug and play. You have all of the different components, everything just really simply plugs in together and works together as a really cohesive unit without complicated wiring and really having to get into the nitty gritties of the system. Which of course means that for DIYers, people who are doing van conversions or building their own tiny houses, it's a really easy system to use, which is massive. Another really important facet of this system is that it's completely scalable. So whether you're doing a really small van conversion or you're doing a total off the grid cabin or home backup system, you can completely customize and scale the system to suit whatever your need is. So for example, it's got a really high power input. So you can have up to 6,000 watts of charging. So that's if you're connecting into AC mains or up to 4,800 watts of solar input, which gives you a whopping 20 kilowatt hours per day, which is just just a massive amount of power. The power kit also has a capability for a really high power output. So you have up to 3600 watts of AC power and 1600 watts of DC power. That means it's totally scalable and you can run a huge variety of appliances off of this kit. When it comes to battery storage here, that's completely scalable as well. So if you're doing a really small off-grid project, maybe like a little van or a teardrop camper or something like that, you could look at one of the smaller two kilowatt systems, but these go right the way up to 15 kilowatt systems, which would be more like an off-grid cabin, maybe a really large tiny house, or if you're doing something like a home power backup system as well, then you might wanna look at going right up to 15 kilowatts. I'll show you how this is all installed in my tiny house. Here we've got the power kit, which is installed in this nifty little door that we've made for it. And you can see the power kit mounted here. These are our inputs, so we've got our solar input here as well. We have one 400 watt panel on the roof, and then we also have a separate 400 watt folding portable panel, which we can set up in situ to add more charging to the home. So this here is the EcoFlow portable solar panel. This is amazingly a 400 watt panel. 
It's actually quite mind-blowing that they can now get 400 watts of solar energy into something that is this portable, and I am really impressed with how this unit works. It's really simple, it folds away into a nifty carry case. This carry case also helps to act as a stand so that you can set the panels at the right angle for maximum solar gain. And it's just a really simple connection which plugs into the EcoFlow power kit in the tiny house and helps to top up the power. So it's a really nice, very simple addition that gives us a lot more energy in the home. We have a five kilowatt battery, which for this home, is really the perfect size. It gives us the ability to run all of our appliances, and after a bit of testing, I've worked out that with absolutely no input, a fully charged battery can run this house no problems for about four days, which is about the amount of time that you want to factor in when you're designing your system. You could easily have a few days of bad weather with very limited sunlight, and even though the panels will still give you a little bit of trickle in, even on a really cloudy day or a stormy day, it's still worthwhile building in that contingency, just to be sure. When it comes to inputs for the power, once again, you're kind of spoilt for choice. You've got Shore Power Connect. You have the ability to connect this to a vehicle alternator so you can charge when your van's driving or your truck's driving. You have the ability to use, obviously, solar. And as well, also there is an input for a smart generator as well. So you've kind of got lots of options for primary charging and then redundancy backup again, which is really important. Another really cool thing about this battery is it's a 48 volt battery, but it also has a safe auto heating function as well, which means if you're in a really cold climate, it can actually bring the battery up to temperature so it continues to perform at its maximum output. With all that said, let's go inside the house and I can show you what we've got going on in there. So welcome back to our brand new tiny home. If you missed our original video where we talked about this home, we'll link that in the description and in a card above so that you can check that out and find out all about the cool features of this home. But for now, one of the things that I wanna focus on is the appliances that we've used in this home and how that correlates to our off-grid systems. When you start thinking about going off the grid, whether it's an existing home or a brand new project, the very first thing that you need to really be honest with yourself about is how much power do you use? If you are in an existing house, then you can look at your existing power consumption, check your power bill, see what your kilowatt usage is, look through your appliances and work all of that out. If you are building a new home, then of course you need to really be honest about what appliances you want to install, look at those power ratings, look at what the consumption is, factor in how many hours a day you're likely to be using those things, there are solar calculators that you can access online that will help you to work all of that out. But ultimately the important thing is that you are really honest with yourself about how much power you're gonna use in the home so that you can factor in your off-grid system to accurately account for that. We have a five kilowatt battery in this house and I already mentioned that that gives us about four days of power with no additional input on a full charge. So part of the reason that that works so well is because I took a lot of care in selecting our appliances, things like our refrigerator, things like efficient lighting. Efficiency in a solar system starts with making really good choices with your appliances. So whenever we're talking about solar systems and all of that, it's important that you remember that you can maximize your efficiency out of all of those things by making some really good purchasing decisions when it comes to the things that you're actually powering. And now we'll go into the bathroom where we have installed the rest of the kit. So behind this cabinet here, we have our ACDC smart distribution panel, as well as the remote control for the EcoFlow power kit. And one of the things that I love about this is that it sort of gives you all of the information that you need at a glance. So right now I can see that we've got about 440 watts of input coming in. Our current output with all of our lights and everything on is at about 140 watts. And it gives us all of the readings. I can see the battery's at about 95% with a charge time of around two, three hours, always changing depending on the massive solar fluctuation. It is a cloudy day after all, so that's always gonna fluctuate. And we have a remaining runtime of 
two days and 16 hours at the current output, which has absolutely everything turned on. So obviously we don't normally run lights and everything during the day like we are right now. So it gives you a really good idea of exactly where your system's at at all times. You can set it to have emergency cutoff. So if your batteries go below 30%, for example, you can ask it to stop powering the house. So it's got sort of backups and things like that as well, which means that you can always keep your devices protected, which is worth diving into. Above that, we've got the smart distribution panel. So the smart distribution panel hooks into both your AC power circuit and your DC power circuit. And one of the cool functions on that is it also has remote switching. So you can synchronize this device to your phone using an app and utilizing that app, you can not only get all kinds of information and readouts about the performance of your home, but you can also remote switch things. So if you wanna turn lights on and off, or if you've got a heater in your house and you're driving home and you want your house to switch on the heater when you're on your way, you can do all of that sort of stuff. It hooks into Bluetooth if you're in close proximity, otherwise it runs over Wi-Fi, so you can always check in and see how your house is performing, which is a really cool feature. So even from here in our main tiny house, I can always see exactly what's going on in the little traveler. About 15 minutes till it's fully charged. So there's an overview of our solar system in a nutshell. I have to say that I am incredibly impressed with these EcoFlow power kits. They are super high quality. They are truly plug and play. They're very, very easy to use. They're very intuitive. They give you a lot of functionality and it is just perfectly designed for this kind of application. If you're building a tiny house and want to take it off the grid, if you're doing a van conversion project, if you're doing an off-grid cabin, I highly recommend that you look at these systems. EcoFlow did sponsor this. They did sponsor the build of this house around this power kit. But regardless of that, I do want to impress upon you that I am genuinely really impressed with this system. I really think EcoFlow go above and beyond to create things that are easy to use, that are really high quality, that have all of the redundancies and everything that you want built in. And I feel really good recommending this system to people who are looking at doing a project like this one. So if you are ready to take your tiny house off the grid, EcoFlow Power Kits, definitely the way to go. You can find out more about these in the description of this video. And as for Russa and I, we are both very excited to now get this tiny house on the road and kick off the adventure that it was designed for.